got Kevin Black, Macy Kilty's coach out here at the Cadet World Championships. Macy just won gold. What are your thoughts? How are you feeling? Uh, we're really excited for Macy. This has been a really, really big journey for her and um, a lot of pressure, a lot of tears, a lot of excitement and just a whole lot of stuff that went into this night. And just really excited for her that hard work has paid off and doing all of the little things right is, is paying off. And, um, I mean, she's just really had an incredible journey to get to this point and we see this, you know, the four minutes she wrestles and everything looks all great, but there's there's a lot of ups and downs throughout the year and, and it's been a real real roller coaster ride and it's just really, really nice that when you put your time and effort in for something that in the end it, it works and so that was fun for her. You talked about the journey a little bit. Can you elaborate on seeing the growth from 2016 to not making the team in 2017 to getting on the podium, uh -huh. on the top of the podium? Um, I think the biggest thing for her is she's she just is, is learning and growing and changing as a woman and um, that presented some unique uh, obstacles for her that she wasn't really prepared to handle. Um, and so throughout this year, just going through that, that process of learning who she is and um, what her purpose is and where her value is and um, trying to incorporate the training, body, mind, and soul into everything. I think that, that uh, um, she just grew a lot as a, as a person. And then it's almost like you, you, you're, you're moving, 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 and it's just small incremental steps, and then you accomplish something like this, and then it has that opportunity to just like shoot you through the roof in that growth process because now it all makes sense and there's, there's reason for it that, that we would do those hard things and we would talk about those difficult things and be vulnerable and so um, that's most of the journey. But there's a lot of ups and downs and um, not just finished up, so it's good. Yeah, she's got Junior Worlds in September. What's your message to her moving forward? Uh, well, I think that the biggest message that we have for all of our athletes and Macy in particular is that we love them as people first and that she is she's more valuable than a gold medal and now we finally have one she, she can weigh it and actually see that she is worth more than gold and so um, first understanding who we are our identity is separate from our sport and um, that our, our, our value our purpose our significance is bigger than a medal and that's that's been the biggest growth for her this year and like again there's been a lot of ups and downs but um, this this week there was just so much um, pressure and anxiety and fear and we talked about um, some of those emotions those negative emotions fear and worry how there those things are not of God at all but love and joy and wonder those things are are the good stuff and that's more motivation than fear and so th this whole week it was it was just for her understanding that she wasn't being motivated by fear she was being motivated by love love for her sport love for her country love for God love for her family and just went out and wrestled and had fun and I think I think that when my, like my pre-match talk to her like so many people are like this is what we've trained for and I think that's not what we trained for we didn't train for that moment that moment was fun but we've trained for something bigger than that and, and so that's I don't know that's just been a fun a fun little journey yeah you've got a cool thing going out there at River Falls can you just tell us a little bit about it and how it kind of got started um, well really it got started with Macy and um, she snuck into our corner and when she was in eighth grade and there was a lot of good upside and she just needed some some individual attention and it kind of grew into her moving to River Falls and um, going to high school in River Falls and uh, you know we just we just train full time but we also do life together and I think that's that's the aspect that we have that we offer to our girls that are in River Falls is is the life piece and you know they're they're going to do something someday when wrestling is done and I think that in sport we sometimes forget that people are people before they're athletes and how can we equip them to do great things in the world that are bigger than sport and it, it, I think it's easy to just coach a kid to win a wrestling match but to coach a kid how to navigate life and make big life decisions and to do things that are bigger than themselves and to do it with gratitude and and, and to love the processes, that's that's a that's a big tall task, and it was it was hard. It was hard. Yeah, you've been around women's wrestling a while. Um, kind of just seems like they're getting better and better. And seeing Wisconsin, there's a lot of girls that are making teams, things like that. What's it like to be a part of that and to kind of see all of that happening yeah, we, around you? Yeah, I think we we had a plan and we 
built a system and you know we've got some order and structure and we follow through on the plan and we make a schedule and we we live by it and you know we believe that training matters that it's not just about competition and finding the the new shiny toy but going going to the room and doing the the ugly work and um, not only the hard work but the easy work and paying attention to all the little aspects of wrestling you know body mind and soul that I don't I don't know that anybody's ever lost a world championship match because their single leg wasn't prepared it's because they buckled under pressure or they were nervous or they couldn't focus or they couldn't they couldn't overcome adversity and those are all mental skills so I think that um, those are just all things that we've incorporated I think pretty successfully into what we're doing Looking back on this week for you, um, aside from Macy winning gold, which I'm sure is a top moment, what was another highlight for you in this trip? Um, I think I think that being here in Zagreb was a really really good um, World Championships. They hosted it fantastically. We've been to a lot of places where it was, you know, for lack of a better phrase, like a complete gong show. And this was really really well run, really well organized. So I think that that allowed for these girls to really just focus on the wrestling piece, and we didn't get distracted by a lot of being in Europe and like you know, the World Cup was going on but they were here to wrestle and, and I think that this environment was a really really good place for that because when they get to be at the senior level they're gonna have to be focused right and, and I think that that of all of the things that that this event did it, it allowed for those girls to really know that man we got to take this seriously we got to be on point for all things and you know we got to control our weight we got to control our conversations everything matters and, and it, this was a really really good place for them to, to be able to do that short walk to the venue and everything was right here and this just was a really nice controlled environment. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. Yeah, thank you.